Hello and welcome to Budapest in Hungary for the semi-finals of Boulder and Lead. Apologies about the delay in proceedings. We've had some weather coming in. It's gone from baking hot to thunderstorms here in the stadium, so we had to delay things, but we are back. We're almost ready. My name is Matt Groom. I'm joined by Hannah Schubert in the commentary box. time and we can see the list of those who have made it through it's going to be hectic today yeah there's going to be lots of action i mean um we have again uh, no observation because in semi-finals the um, athletes come out have five minutes to observate the boulder and figure out how to climb it different two finals where they have six minutes um, in total to uh, look at the boulder, like two, uh, two minutes per boulder, like that, <laughs> six minutes in uh, lead. And um, yeah, so uh, we have a lot of strong people coming out, looking here. As soon as you, like, uh, the athletes know early enough in advance when it's going to start, even if it was delayed, so they have enough time to warm up. And that's the most important. I feel like if you're sitting down there um, waiting, you just want to know what's going on. Like, they want information, and once you know the information when it starts, you can work with that. And, like, just look forward to giving your best. Exactly. Well, good analysis from Hannah here. We're looking at our starting list, as you said. Alberto Hines Lopez qualifying in first position there. He's still continuing his run of form from Shanghai. By the end of it, we'll have eight all at the same time. And Jain Kim, Hannah, you and I were talking about this before. You have to say, after that poor boulder round in qualification, she had to do a lot in lead, but she's been given a second chance here, hasn't she? Yes, definitely. I mean, she really um, uh, gave it all on the lead wall in that second her a place here in semis. So now she's really looking to uh, have a lot, a way better boulder round here than last time. Yeah, she needs to find something a little bit different here. We know it's her weaker discipline, but you need to keep in touch in Boulder. You just leave yourself so much work to do. But she's underway up through the steepest part of the wall here on those big yellow volumes. Yeah, first look on the first boulders of semifinals here. We've seen these pinches, these yellow pinches before um, on the last boulder of the men in qualification. Um, uh, they looked really bad and really hard to work them, but um, she did pretty well in her first go there already, securing the first zone in her first attempt. Yeah, there are two zones in this combined format of the sports, different from the single zone. And, if you, and from that, we managed to find our eight athletes for the final. And we're watching now Yannick Najel on the right pulling on. He's got that low zone. And now a big jump to the left. Lots of slapping, I think, actually planned. Um, yeah, we might see how that will be get done probably from some of the other athletes or maybe also Yannick, we don't know yet, but um, the boulder. <laughs> Matching the boulder, yes, good point. Now that's the big triple uh, paddle slab. dino to yeah. the left. So the athletes are going to have to move their hands quickly through it. And yeah, that root setters were designed it so it's hard for them to stop. This is the hold in a minute Giant is struggling on this left hand. She's cutting loose. Goes right, and now she's got to slap up left into this hole, but a better body position with that Nicely heel Nicely done, up to the higher zone. Really high heel on the left. You can see the, oh, and a little slip. So scrunched up under there, that yellow and pole And another slip. Back. Because they're like at the wall, like pretty close to the wall, and it's a steep one, so you can also help them from not being affected from the wind too much. Yeah, they will be fairly sheltered. Let's wait and see today. So Jain again cuts loose, which is smart, allows you to get your centre of gravity a little bit below your hands directly. Yeah, and she actually can pinch that hold really well, like she makes it look like a good hold, which I'm not sure it is. Yeah, but another right. slip. Teammates over on the women's side. Yes, with Mia Krumpel and Tomoko coming out after. Lucia Tarkush here. First, it's her turn. Lucia pulls on, has a little look, and has to rethink. While well, Philip Schenk matches onto that low zone where the five is. Taking starts. a long look. Ooh, good effort for a first try already. Yeah, and the thing is, he's going left. And he kind of needs to keep his foot out right onto those holes at some point. It's going to be interesting. You can see it comes up into an underclick. Strong fingers need here as she adjusts her feet. Switching around the left hand to get herself in a better position to move up. 
Nicely done into the first zone here. Oh, fighting hard there. You can see how powerful this boulder is. Come up with all types of devious ideas. Yes, I'm sure we will see um, different methods of trying this jump for sure. Better from Philip, nearly stopped so that. Oh, close, yeah. Come up to 1 minute 20 on the clock. Let's have a look at how she's doing this. So up to that underclip. Nice foot swap, keeping the body tension as she reverses to an undercling from that pinch. Better this time. This is where we saw Zhang Kim cutting loose. She's here trying to keep her feet on. Now losing. That's the issue, isn't it? If you try to keep your feet on, when you release it, you have that swing, whereas uh, Zhang could release earlier and have a weight. Yeah, also. that's true. Then putting the foot up and going around the corner. So it's a different method that Lucy is using here. So close from Philip, and only 20, 15 seconds actually left. Yeah, so Philip might call it a day. Let's see, this is going to be her last chance. She comes down. Oh, Philip's straight back on. He hasn't got that high zone yet, so he's got time for this. So there is Ellen. A good round to get in this far. That seemed in a quite a positive mind frame, which was good to see. Jan Kim, right in the corner on the left of your screen, where well, Nigel is going through the, uh, the <laughs> steepest bit of this wall as we saw yesterday in quality. Very, very steep from him, yeah. That's a, that's a powerful boulder. Similar kind of moves, looks like pinches in there. So the, uh, the setter's obviously enjoying that yes. feature. You can see the wind blowing the towels around on the mats. Well, it seems like, yeah, I just wanted to say it. Do remember, all of this is for Olympic qualification places. No one really safe at this stage, but one man, which we'll talk about later on. But do remember that you need to check the Olympic channel for the full results, although we'll be able to tell you our top 12 at the end of this weekend. You do need to have a look at that channel to confirm everything. Oh, wow. I think we just see like a little uh, cheating. Of the, well, not cheating, but like a little... Uh, beat a break. Beat a break, yeah. yeah, let's put it like that. Not cheating, but so he, a little beat a break. That was crazy. It was very up through the shoulder. Wow. That is something the setters will have thought about and will have thought it would be impossible. And he has broken that. Springs up, nearly holds the top. But now this is going to be interesting because he'll know that's necessarily the wrong way to do it. Or wrong way, but, you know, a different way to do it. But that shoulder move on the crimp is super powerful. Super powerful. That's probably also what the root setters didn't expect someone to do it or not be able to do it. Yeah, so we've seen before that the athletes will start to get a bit stressed. They know that although there's a whole other lead round to come after this will get you points you do really need to make an impact now it's now or never sometimes though it can be a oh let's see this beat a break again so this is can the he repeat it it's the question oh, the, the right. power scream again he took a long rest to make sure he has enough power to do that he's timed it oh, well hasn't he he's going to rock up on that heel maybe no i think he's changing his mind seven seconds he's going to have to go for something here this is going to be as a beater if he can do it up three two no he can't hold so lucia tark is down the left and her teammate vita lucan is beginning her semi-finals she comes into the under, sorts the feet out. She's going for it. Comfortable on the left pitch. Five points for her now. Men's two is a, a yeah, very physical piece of climbing, isn't it? Yes, for sure. And that undercling catch as you're losing your feet. It's super steep as well. Lucia got the first zone. No text for her left foot there. It's just a small bit of friction you can see she's standing on, but you've got to be careful and accurate. Yeah, there's feet. a little. Today, not some 99s on the score, so maybe I think the setters have sort of. Of course, uh, athletes left are some of the strongest, um, but I think it was okay. It was a high scoring bouldering round, so it was harder to catch up on the lead, but um, yeah, I think it was okay for qualification. Let's see how it will be here in a second. Yeah, good separation. Well, Philip, meanwhile, has made it through the undercling move. And he's going towards the high zone now. Has a right hand on a block. Someone asked me a question about uh, if it's dangerous to have brushes on the mat. Yes, it is. Yeah. So what happens is that the brushes will move the brushes backwards. What they can't control is the climber's brushes. You know, and I've seen it happen when a climber throws down a brush as they see it spins down. Yeah, exactly. Because it's really dangerous if you fall on there and like twist your ankle or whatever. Lucia attempting the last move now. 
he starts his big spring, left foot on nothing, right foot on a jib, goes up towards the final hold, can't hold it. Then now, so a lot of uh, dynamic moves here. Uh, it's a very strange feeling right now in the stadium. And I'll just have a look at this and I'll explain my theory on that in a sec. You can see it aims for the top. Let's watch that left palm, she hits it, comes down. Philip Schenk also, he's waited a long time here, 18 seconds to go. This will be his last chance and no. Competition as well, I mean, it's about the Olympic qualifier, so we want, uh, we want it to be fair for everyone. Exactly. And uh, Zilia Abazu in the background there. There she is, getting underway on women's two. She qualified fairly low down in this semi-final. Yeah, I think uh, she uh, had a little fumble with a quick draw in uh, qualification yesterday. So, uh, and uh, I think it uh, did show again that the, the method that uh, Shang Kim was using at the first boulder really paid off. Did. Well, we're having a look at women and men's three now. First time we get to see this. More slabby for Zhang Kim, whereas for uh, Yannick Najel, it looks like a sort of coordination slab to me. But let's see, actually, has Zhang's similar style, isn't it? You have to, it is slabby, but you're doing quite dynamic movement. Jumpy round. <laughs> it's a lot of climbing for these people, for their body, for their hands, for their skin. <laughs> we'll talk about that again. So, oh, wow. Very shouldery, intense move there. Powerful Getting stuff. the high zone. He's screaming his way through as well. Adjust the feet. Onto the sloper. I'm watching his fingers slide down this thing. It's a long way to that top hold as well. Not even sure how you do it. He wanted to kind of rock up on that left foot, but it's at the wrong angle. Yeah, it's not a good one. Decided to jump with a palm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like you have to turn around the right hand. There's something with the athletes today. There's a, an aggression, a sort of a tension. You can see it in their faces. Be careful of that right foot. That's one slipped before. Gets it done this time. Nicely done. So high zone for her, reaching up, nearly making that stick. Yeah, desperate moments out on the mats already. Had her exhausted and we're 20 minutes into this thing. What a round. Let's watch Celia Avesu there again. Oh, she used the method that also we saw Jane Kim try, going to the higher one. Oh, such a big swing to the right. Really nicely done for her. Nice. She looked right. Getting the higher zone. Went wow. left, didn't she? Very core intensive, that kind of a move. You can see him just not have the beans for it. Yeah. It was also really close when uh, Philip Schenk did it before, and he only could do it once. It looked like a really powerful move. Siotakis has obviously tried to go static again. She thinks that's the best, me best method. Is Philip Schenk trying the heel method again, or is he trying to jump? He's got I think to he's, jump. Yeah, I think he's trying to jump. It's a long way, and like this uh, shoulder pump thing. Yeah. Oh. Now, that will annoy you, because I think... Yeah, she was impressive, I thought, during qualification, especially considering Shanghai was a disappointment for her. We talked about her gaining maybe some confidence. Certainly seemed to have done yesterday, so let's see if that's continued on to today. A lot of pinch power required, as we know. Crowd go crazy for someone. Yeah. Well, here we go, let's see how she did it. So out to the high zone, kicking the left foot around. Last move. Nicely done, wow. You could see her uh, her legs really getting a crazy swing there, but made it work. And it was actually in her first attempt, so 25 points wow. for her. And which we've seen works better because we try, she tried it before going from the lower one, couldn't do it, now adjusted. Really well done from her. That's the heel we've seen slipping off from Jane. No need to be Jane. very patient. You do, yes, not, not my thing for sure. Well, Nicholas is going to see what method he does. He goes all the stretch. He almost reached it. Yeah, I wonder did. if some of the taller athletes actually can reach it. I mean, I think the 10 stone hold is not like super good, so it's also about like being able to hold that well enough. Not well. Flip back to Yannick here as he gets his feet set towards the high zone, lands on it, kicks right. Good work from him. Yeah, well done. 50 seconds left. 
for these last two moves. He'll rotate his body around. I think he's standing on no tax there. Yeah, it's just a little slippery part there. It's just plastic. Shiny plastic. Good work from him, though. He's currently got 23.8. He'd love another top, and he's close. You have to match it with two hands and show control for the score to be given. It's a bit uncomfortable position he's in right now. You can see, see the wind yeah. blowing in the background. This is so dramatic. Oh, no, the left hand pops. Be like, oh, no. I don't have enough time to get on a wall. That was my last ball, my last chance. But really strong climbing from him to get to that last point, you know. Coming up later. Camilla Moroni pulls on for the first time. She is someone we do need to pay a lot of attention to because she's right up there in terms of potentially getting a place. Yeah, she uh, was just out of finals last time, ninth position for her in Shanghai at the last qualify event. Performance here again. And there is, of course, uh, levels to this because not only are they trying to get into the top 12, they're also competing against their own teammates. And we talk about Zelia Avazu from Team France, watching Manon Healy. There's uh, some teams, and mainly France, Slovenia, and sorry, France, USA, and Japan are the ones who are directly fighting against each other in terms of team dynamics right now. Oh, Camilla goes feet first to the 10. Feet doesn't count though, you've got to touch it with your hands to get the, uh, the zone points. But look at this from Camilla. That's How nicely done. Can she get a heel? Oh, she's put it on a higher pinch. I'm wondering if. Oh wow! I want her to do this so much. Oh no! Yeah, I was also like, I want to get her, want her to get rewarded for that. That was a crazy beta, crazy method. John Wen John jumps. He came as close as we've seen that. Philip is taking a look at the ball again, trying to figure out what he can do differently. I like get watching him observe. He really thinks yeah. through the movements. Yeah, he really did the movement on the ground that he wants to do on the wall. See Atakis goes up to the high zone, gets a finger on it, but it's not going to count. So now Philip, can he actually put on the wall what he just did on the ground? Well, we saw him jumping over. This is the jump. Let's see if he can carry it forward. Before, because Yannick was only going to the lower crib and then switching feet quickly. But uh, Philip tried to go left, right, shoulder, shoulder. Oh, Zhang Wan's in, needs the match, and he does. That is such a Zhang Wan Chong thing to do, just pull something out of the bag. Yeah, All right, Luca Potager has toes. He's trying to get a heel. It's releasing this. It's fairly stable in this position, but... <sighs> really well done to still stay on there. He's still got to release that left toe, though. I think uh, with the method of Yannick, he was staying closer to the wall, so it was also easier to... Uh, Stay there because you have to hold on less because you can still put on more weight with your feet. But Philip got it done. Yes. Taking back everything. Well, there's <laughs> not everything. I think it's risky the way he's doing it. Yeah. There's so much pressure. To go yeah, and I think you have to hold on more so you can have to do more with your fingers and your hands. I agree. He's only got four seconds though and he had to rush it and you could see him rushing it. Excels on a lead wall. Good on a boulder wall, but sometimes struggles with the more powerful moves. A smaller competitor. Endurance tends to be her thing. Pinches that underclink. It's <laughs> every move looks a bit further when she does it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it looked actually quite cool. We disagree about that one, Hannah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I'm scared. And I'm always uh, excited if I see different methods. <laughs> <laughs> You're bendy. It's fine. Yeah, maybe that's why I think yeah. it's cool. Whole body, <laughs> not only your back. And then Jenico stands up into the five zone. A tricky move to come though here. And you're kind of awkward. That that right foot is blind. You can't see it. Oh yeah, and she uh, turned her knee outside, which is nice and just like this. She can stand up a bit closer to the wall. Laser focused and holds it. Just figure out. The move, let's see the replay. It's Nimrod Marcus, let's have a look then. So he's used the method we've seen Zhongwon do, a similar kind of thing, holding the left shoulder. Strong shoulders. But they can't see someone do a method and then tell the athlete on the stage how to do that. that would be considered cheating. But I'm pretty sure some uh, have a code word. I can't possibly call <laughs> I have no idea, maybe. You'd know more than me. Hannah, ex-athlete. She's been on the World Cup circuit for a while, the youth circuit. So I don't know any code words. Uh -huh. Sounds like you do, Hannah. No, I have never... I've, I've always done more lead than more. Okay. And in lead, you usually... I believe. Many women. 
Helen is up to the high zone though. She's pinching it like a pebble. You see this outdoor climbing often when you get like a, just a little nubbin sticking out of the wall. There it is, that's all she's holding on to. She's matching it as well. Tips how to climb the boulder, which is more like... Uh, yeah, they know the athletes, don't they? So they yeah, so they're kind of like, maybe they know how an athlete reacts when they're stressed and you're like, hey, just breathe, calm down or something like yeah, that. Take a moment. Yeah. Nicholas starts again, right foot swinging through, just power screams his way into the move. Big scream, screaming at the hold. <laughs> I'd love to know if he's ever out of breath. He does that so much, especially in a lead wall. Maybe that's how he boosts. Maybe, yeah. Right, up to the right hand, he's still screaming. There's the 25, and he's got 30 seconds. Yeah. Not so much time, enough time, but you would like to have more time just because also to figure out that sequence. We've see, we, you see, it's not a lot he's holding on. He's just there with fingertips on this yellow chip on the blue one. Yeah, and no. He wanted to sink into that left hand. But no. <laughs> Shaking his head is like, nope, want me to do that. Let's see what Ayala was doing. Oh, nice. So the most <laughs> that boulder has driven everyone crazy so far. It's good to see someone getting revenge on it. It makes climbing so great. And we discussed this yesterday, which is age is not necessarily a factor. And the women's side is Lucia Durfel starting her first climb. Also had a really good... Um... John Mon sets himself, aims for the high low zone, gets it with one hand, only for a fraction of a second. Luca Potica, meanwhile, is setting himself up for the jump. He did well getting the first and uh, first jump in the first boulder done. The high zone on the first boulder. He had to think about rocking up on that left foot, changed his mind, hits the shoulder. So I think we can feel the tension on stage there. Honestly, I've never watched a comp in this boulder round. Camilla is in. Yeah, she wants to get that done now. Got close before. <sighs> now it's just slipping off there. Having a look again, trying to think what she can do differently. Luca Potica trying again. Oh, very close. Can he get his foot up? He's the yes. match. And does Nicely done. It. Has another look. It's blind and around the corner. She hits it with the right, but it's a bit low. And yes, it was her power screaming, I think. Is capable of getting it done, but doesn't have enough time anymore. Frustrating for her. Coming up with like crazy methods that are so different from other people, so that's why. Oh, yeah, it was like just kind of almost campusing to the first one and almost made it work. Molly. So he's going to try that again. And I mean, Paul Shampton in a really good position, he was fourth in Shanghai, um, a bit ahead of his other teammates, Sam Abizu and Meshti Shark, so put himself in a really good position also in that battle against his teammates. That element to add to it. Watching Molly campus her way through the house. I mean, look, we know how strong how she is. How much power does she has? Yeah. Crazy strength. I've seen so many other people, like, once they cut loose of their feet, like, just no way of staying on, and she was just campusing casually. Molly Thompson Smith coming close here. This is her cup of tea, this kind of a boulder. She's got to trust that right heel, though, for one more move, and no, it does go. But really strong performance. I think I'm correct about the atmosphere. They've never sort of seen a competition. <laughs> Nimrod, though, he is having a great round. He's ignoring every bit of pressure here. Gets the right foot up. He needs to find some... Oh, no, the left pings as he reaches. He immediately asking for a brush. But look at the smile. Everyone else is, like, shouting and screaming. Nimrod's just got a smile on his face. Yeah, but he still has time to go, yeah. so maybe that's why. Or he's just uh, happy that he got so close already because he didn't expect it. Zelia, meanwhile, is on the, high on the pebble. Yeah out towards the crimp with just a thumb. Trust that right foot, brings the left under, bumps into the right hand, she's a move away now, upgrades the right foot. There's the top, she could be in for another one. What a way to finish off this round if she does. Oh, it's not a comfortable position there. There's nothing to hold on. I wonder if she actually has to switch feet or what. No, and she... Inside oh, heel? I've never seen that. That looks amazing. Is it possible, though? She's got to release the right hand. She's going to have to put so much oh, through the heel. Oh, my God. That would have been so cool if that would have been possible. Okay, let's uh, watch for a I'm not sure Paul putting his leg up there is a great idea. He's, just, he's, he's so tall. There's exactly. so much leg to fit in. Yes. Yeah. 
I just I know he's trying to use his height to the advantage, but I think he needs to rethink. Here. Actually, I wonder how he did the beginning of this. Oh, yeah, he just missed that. High heel, but it's just like uh, put himself out of the wall more than put him in. Now we're watching Ayala here. I said she had a big deficit to make up. Well, I mean, she got five points from Shanghai and the top 12. Molly's doing it again, isn't she? It was a little safe there. I think he like foot popped or hand popped and she saved it. Here Crazy is. strong. All the focus will be on that heel, pressing it into the wall. Now she loses it. She's going to go in with the right hand. This is where she fell before. Yeah, you kinda, you have to put that heel on the right hand. Taked in a while, so maybe causing her problems. Nimrod is a move away. Brings up the right hand. This is the left hand that popped before he does get it done. Oh, wow. What a performance from Nimrod Marcus here. Two tops in this bowling round. He's super happy, you can see. I wonder if we see someone put the knee up there. But then actually uh, putting the right foot up there, that was crazy. It's absolutely fascinating stuff. Oh, and there we see the top from Paul Schempf with a really high foot, actually. I thought he would actually choose the method using that red volume on the right, but no. He used the high foot on the right. Showed everything she could, just giving everything really, really strong. Oh, look on the left as well. Is that Yu Chen Song there? Yeah, he went up with the left hand, but was a bit stuck there because there's no way... Could... ...performances I've seen. It's so interesting, the athletes who are struggling to deal with this pressure and those who are succeeding as Yannick flies through the air to land. That looked like a cool method too, like going to the first blue hole and then 10th zone hole just to like stop that swing. Really cool, actually. Figured out some beta. It's a tough start for the women, this bowler, because it's obviously one of the hardest in the set to walk out onto the mats and be greeted with that thing. It's tough. Yeah, it's really tough. You really have to be 100% there and uh, be ready to get really exhausted. Let's watch Lucia as she aims for the high zone. Or Mark. Bailey, yeah. It looked really nice with like stepping through with the left foot. Like not hopping with the right foot one more, but like stepping through with the left. Really nicely done. Yeah, now she'll set herself for this jump and a palm. A bit late bringing the palm in. Body moved away from the wall <laughs> as she felt. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, he's in provisional third with his top on bolder number three. <gasps> Big power stream from Camilla Moroni, first one to stick the high zone on Boulder number three there. Yeah, there she is, eyeing it up. And yes for Camilla. <laughs> Hannah, can you tell me what she's feeling in this moment right now? Yeah? What, what do you think's going on there? Excitement, relief. <laughs> like, it has the feeling that not a lot of people got that high. It's just like giving you so much excitement and uh, motivation to like try harder the next one. And it, she knows it puts her in a good position, and that's what she needs. She really, really wants to, today a lot will be decided already. Exactly, and the most important day as well. Seven seconds to go. This is the last chance for this round. Finished seven, last one in Shanghai. Yeah, there is Erin McNeese, and she's a strong, strong climber, so she might enjoy getting her teeth stuck into this first climb. Hamish makes the five zone, sets himself up for the jump to the left. He's a tall man. Yeah, I think that's the method that Paul Shem used. At least that's what we saw him try. Pretty positive when he tried it the first time. It might also work for Hamish. Curious if he tries it again or decides to go for the more dynamic method now. Now, I would have put money, actually, than the fact that Laura would use this kind of a handhold as a, as a crimp. She loves these kind of moves and would try to do it statically. But this she has nothing to, like, I wouldn't say she has nothing to hold on with the right. Now she gets a little bit more. She's getting it, isn't she? She's creeping that right foot up. She's going to slap out this left. This is no. crazy. She's really 100% sitting on her left heel there. Oh, that in. is amazing. That is crazy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that was possible. Yeah, she was I didn't think it was possible to get into that position. Yeah. Let's just remember that. It's not and she was sitting 100% on that yeah. here. Yeah. Crazy it's stuff. Also, she also wants to do this. She's got to pop a little bit. Yeah. Could see how dynamic Camilla Moroni was. Followed by Ella and Camilla. It's our top three. Now remember, things aren't decided in terms of the final at this stage. We still have a lead round to go. We see. Uh, if I pan stretching towards the last hold. He's also going to use the high foot method like 
Nimrod Marcus is doing. I don't think everyone can do that. It's really high. You see, it's where his elbow is. Oh, really strong. Still got to find a right foot. Now he does. And Nicely done. Getting the higher zone. Really strong from her. Toes on that red jib. Eyes around the corner. Using the foothold there. It's really like a typical slab, using everything to just stay on the wall. Touched it. Good last move. We're not really sure how she did that, but um, the last section of the slab looks actually still pretty hard. Ooh, for that. 47 seconds to go. Not a lot of time for the athletes. Ayala brings the feet through. I think 30 seconds to go. Got to move quickly here, and it's a slab. So you don't want to rush, but you need to move fast. Therefore, precision is key. Hits the right, and that's not precision from her. Firm marked the event. So that's the basics for you, in a nutshell. And Medjdi is being, I think, called down by a judge. No, he was just checking. Obviously heard something from someone. Yes, he was just checking. Wow, good first try from him, just firing to the left there. Yeah, this is his kind of thing. He's an incredibly springy climber. He yeah, really excels at those kind of new school movements. Yeah, he has such, such good explosive power. Yeah, he does. It's yeah. his kind of get out of jail free card, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Yeah. And he's in the black. Genya on the left of his screen. Yannick Floe. He also likes these kinds of boulders, powerful moves. Like no real hesitation here. He's in, he hasn't got the left toe under either, which now he's putting it. It's a weird position to be in, I think, to move up there. Now, That's can he go to the 10th zone? We haven't seen it for a while. We've seen Philip Schenk there a while ago, but since then. Nobody can get as close as Yannick has. Oh, no. But lots of athletes to come. I think Nina would have. No. Like he would have, you know? I don't think uh, he uh, yeah. but, um, he could do that well. I mean, He's a quality climber, don't get me wrong, but like that. No, I, he climbed out of his skin today. For sure. Yeah. But yeah, I think he's surprised you. That's why I was so excited topping the first and at a fourth and the third boulder, uh, but really well deserved. Like, he had a crazy good round. Yeah, well, we're seeing uh, Simon rocking up towards the top here, left hand in, pressing. We know it's all about this next move, though. All those fingers stay. He's standing on very little. Now gets the right in and matches. Good job, nicely. Oh, Lucia Dorfel got a top off screen as well. Let's see this. So, springing sideways, getting the top. Looking really strong here, yeah. Already 39.6 points. I'm going to try to do this kind of double match pitch thing. Try to stand as much as you can on your feet. Inject Just on. use it to stabilize. I'll move away. You see, that's comfortable getting to the 10. It's just that next move. Yeah, looks, looks really comfortable, but that last move. Crazy. I think someone stuck something here. Virginia, she flips the hands around. This is where she was chalking up from before. Eyes the last hold. The right hand and the palm. That was a good angle to look at that hold. Yannick is up again. Looking comfortable on that left hand. And the Ma match. <sighs> it's so on the black one, it's even thirder and even more out than you would want it. Wow, what a crazy jump from Meshti. That's exactly the moves that we love about like seeing from him. And he loves doing them. Oh, that's so cool. A lot going on there. He's got his head in his hands. It's direct competition with Miho Nanaka, her teammate. And that is because the I Mori has already got one of the women's places. There's only one remaining. And this is when, when you start to look at the scores after this, you have to remember that whoever athlete is out in front will be the one who takes it. Let's see this replay. So Erin on the left, jumps, hits the top. She gets so high and comfortable into that palming position. Yeah, and there was a flash. First attempt for her. Quick top. Now, this is where I think Paul might try to span this move. Just go up with the left hand. 
But he's, look how low, he's not even using the left foot. Thumb? Palm? I don't really know how to call it. He was like using the end of the hold to push up, but he might change his method. He still has some time. Got up there really quickly. Laura pings off the right hand. It's a long way for her to go up to that hold. Fidueto launches left, gets the pinch. Tries to get a toe in underneath, can't, tries to step into the pinch. Hamish MacArthur's wrestled his way through the first couple of moves. He's going for a heel hook up with the right. Yeah, drops it down that heel, will be tricky to stay. I think the others used the left toe, toe on the right foot on the same hold to push up, or just the left toe, which is the right toe, puts in a weird position, I think. Nice move from Sasha there. Yeah, Sasha's in, that will help his score. He was struggling a bit. More chance to step under the lead if it's not such a high scoring round. Ball is in, launched upwards, got the left hand in. Yeah, he chased his method. Actually, um, he's second person to get a second top. So, Futaba slaps left into the high zone. She's made progress here. Right hand out, it's all about that right heel though. Will it stay for this next drop move? She adjusted it a little bit. It's just like, you see, now you see the hold from all the rubber that came off her shoe when it slipped. Really tough heel there. Move, isn't it? Well, Hamish uses the left toe this time, much better from him. But going up with left, now he's gonna be stuck. Is he really gonna match this? Match his own thing, it's wild. Yeah, do you remember it at home that the athletes can't really come down and reset. Every time their feet touch the mat, it's minus 0 0.1 from their score. And although that could be easily made up, because it's so tight here, every attempt is important. Laura goes up right hand, better from her, finds the balance. Face pressed into the wall as she puts a palm down on the triangular volume and looks out to the right towards holds to come, creeps her fingers across, shaking with the tension. Only 20 seconds left, it's not a lot for these last moves on this lap. Just that left hand, back and forth, trying to find a bit of a bite. Her own face reflecting in that hole as she comes up and gets it seven seconds though, she needs the speed here. Swaps the hands, she's going for it, and that is in time. Massive for Laura. Wow, I didn't expect that to happen so quickly. I've heard of, she's uh, already got a ticket. One available for Team Slovenia for the women. So, Sam. Oh, wow. Great first attempt. Yeah, especially I feel like he had like so much explosive power out of his hands because he didn't swing so much. Crazy. Yannick has a move away as well. He's trying this heel method. I'd love someone to make this work. He's going to rethink. And Jenya, who's been quiet so far. Down the order at the moment in 13th, and so he's uh, find something here. And this is probably one of the harder boulders. But we have seen it being topped. Myself, I don't know. Already thinking ahead. Really? I mean, 2024 passes quickly so far, so it's not too long until we are in 2025. Jang Sog has twisted his body over to the right. Gets the palm in, looking for a left foot, stands up on the jib straight away hits the final hole but now he's got to figure this last move out the crowd go crazy for someone in the background brings his knee into play right toe down low but then the Yannick getting the boulder done let's watch a replay so he went for the traditional method left hand up right hand palm very traditional yes forever locked in stone that move but then had some trouble with his feet look eventually managed the match but made that tricky for himself Blue, but tried to match the fence on hold. Oh, nicely done from Jenya there. Little power scream as well. She's got a minute 40, so plenty of time to figure this sequence out. Can she be the third to do this? No, the left foot pings and troughs and tension moments. And it's a unique experience right now. Anastasia Sanders eyes up the last move on women's two. Ooh, trying to pump with the right. I don't. Um, uh, really hard to hold that last move like that, I think. <sighs> no, so close. You can see, I think he would have needed to stop himself with the left foot on uh, something. 
because it was turning around like a helicopter. But really nicely done here. Oh, it's so like dynamic. Catching it like hit this and then going for the like with the backswing like this. Actually, maybe that's how the rootsetters are were intending it, like using the backswing. See it awful. One hand on the final hold. We saw Laura do this in a buzzer beating moment. Lucia is going to be similar here. But I think Laura was not having her left foot on. She was only standing on her right foot because when you're only standing on your right foot, you're directly under the foot, uh, under the top hold. It makes it easier um, uh, to match it in the position. Well, we saw three tops. Yu Chang Song got one done and Sam Abazu. All right, Molly Thompson-Smith on the left. That's the right leg that she ankle that she broke this tape we talked about earlier. And yeah, she's come back from an injury. I'm not saying it's a big thing, but it's uh, it's interesting that it's taped. Yeah, but I actually saw her in Innsbruck, in Innsbruck uh, just before coming to this event. And yeah, actually, she says she still has a lot of pain. Nasty, nasty injury. Paul Jem stands up high, left hand in. Surely he can't bring his right leg up. Like mm, If he managed to palm and straighten this right arm. Oh, she, he turned his feet a little. That looked good, though. Logan Lee is struggling with a shoulder injury. Tweaked it sometime after Shanghai. And now it stands. Paul Zemft, meanwhile, gets a right foot to match the hand. Aims for the low zone. Can't make that stick on the mat. So that's a good round from her. Let's watch it. It's on that tricky boulder as well. Starts to spring. Had a little hesitation there, but then committed to the move. Wow. Yeah, you can see that outside like, with the provisional. So Aaron immediately comes to mind to get into that top 12. Yeah, because she was third last time in Shanghai as well. It's going to be so hard not to over-anticipate things here, Hannah. I know. Just remember, everyone watching, there's lots of things that can occur. There's appeals that can come through. The point system is very complex. We'll try to keep up with it, but it's, uh, it's a exactly. tricky one. Exactly. We will try to get as much information as possible for you guys. But apologize if we cannot have the stats right, right away. And keep everything in mind. Molly comes down, big scream from someone on the right. Paul Sheff got distracted by the scream. Dokken Lee launches across, right foot for a second, resets. No, that right foot causing all types of trouble. Three times, or two times. Oh, that might have been the scream. Can Hannes get this done? No. Oh. Rewarded for getting so close. This pole, this boulder is like so powerful and high. For like a, a 0 0.1 plus to your score. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Paul Jep to move away. We've seen him struggle though to make this match. 24 seconds. What's he gonna do? He's got the right foot in. He knows he wants to bring that right foot up. You can see he only has his thumb there. There's not a lot on this hold. <gasps> yeah, he tried to switch feet and then. Oh, how easily did she do that move that everyone else fell on? Because she didn't bump to the higher one before, like all the others. Um, because everyone who attempted to do it, like her, fell. So, impressive. This is powerful. Can she do this, though? This is the hard move. She can do it. Right hand on the pinch, the first one to get this far. Let's see. No. I don't think there's anything else she can do to get herself in a higher position. Medjdi made the top in the meantime. Good work Great from job. Him. Yeah, flash. Without having climbed the last boulder. Jenny's move away. She loves slab climbing. This is her thing. Can she make the match? She can make the match. What control from the lady from Ukraine. Nice. Very well done. In second position, it was a flash on the last boulder. <laughs> like, we've only seen it being topped by Laura Rugora before in the last second. And our flash from Jenny, really strong performance from her. And also strong performance there from Yannick. Yeah, he's a move away. Kicks the right foot up, just needs to match, and he does. It's another one for Yannick Floet. And he knows that's... Alex Magos, meanwhile, latches the crimps, sets himself for the jump, trying a different method. Control, you can't just tap and go. Nicely done by Sam Abasu, very smooth. Needs to, wow, first attempt to the last move, but uh, also that last move was freaking hard. Mia Crample, let's watch her now, kicking out, hitting the high zone nicely. One move to go for her, this big jump in the palm. Gets herself set up, the crowd respond as she fires upwards, but the right palm we're not sure about. Covering from a knee injury, but it seems like Natalia is getting better and better. Who will join Natalia in the Olympics? Brooke, probably the favourite right now. Yes, for sure. She had an amazing performance in Shanghai. 
and uh, it's really looking good. Wow, <laughs> little fumble there just when I was saying that. But she stayed on, so that's already proof how good she is. Yeah, she has an ability to pull out some magic on the mats, so let's see what Brooke can do today. Adam, meanwhile, is in his anti-style move, this jump over to the left. He's trained he might, hard for it. He might do it statically. Right hand up and uh, the left hand down. No can be right through the physical part. Left palm. Can he get it done? Because everyone tried to jump up to the yellow hole. Wow, okay, last move of Hannes van Dijsen here. Yeah, he's finished that off nicely. Look at that. Please match, Hannes, and don't celebrate. Thank you. Yes, if the athlete... It makes me so nervous. Well, yeah, just to explain, if the athlete does that and falls off, they won't be awarded the points. No, of course not. So we like to see them celebrate after the match, please. Yeah, and I still don't understand why people keep doing that. It makes I me so nervous. I'm always like, match, match, match. Okay, now. Exactly. Now celebrate. Hamish face to the hole. Nice. Gets done. Nicely. Brooke Rabbitou, feet first. We've seen this before and it didn't work for anyone before. Yeah, we've seen it from Camilla Moroni. Oh. Her heels are ridiculous. Like that is a Brooke. And she went up right first before going to the 10th zone hole. Yeah. We haven't seen that before either. She might skip this right hand as well. No, now she's, she's going to skip it. Is she going to match? That's the question. not going to work. Just checked out the hold now. Yeah, she needs that heel. Must be burning the energy. She was in there for a very long time. Eyes up the final move. Right hand, left hand, palm. Good from her. Gets that done and that calm, cool exterior is maintained. Already in a good position, heading to hold the number three. Erin sitting in first place in the moment. Can she secure that top spot at 64 currently? Makes the Houdini swap, left foot taking the place of the right foot, right hand shaking, she's got to pinch that nubbin so hard. Swaps hands, right, got to trust that. Not great, you've got soft shoes on as well, a small hold like that. Fingers on the bottom hand hold. Foot holder, she's saying, slides off. I think you missed that hold a little, I think she was a bit. Brooke goes feet first again, fascinating. Now flicks the heel in. That is her trump card, that heel. But no, I think it just burns you. We saw it with Miho. It worries me, but she's... I mean, and she doesn't know the other score. That's why she's going. We're watching here. Oh, who's that? That's Dohyun Lee falling with a strange... ...himself as well, and how, like, little by little with every top, like, gets a little off him. So you can really see how much he wants it and how much he is fighting for this Olympic ticket. Well, if you are just joining us, welcome to Budapest in Hungary. We're on the final athletes here of this semi-final boulder round. We're delayed through the weather and it has been a tense affair as Alberto goes statically through the jump. And he made that look easy. Holding that right grip, which is not a good one, not a big one, and holding that tension, that was crazy, really impressive. Wonderful stuff. Sam Avazu leaves beneath us. Oh, what has he had for breakfast? It is incredible from Alberto Hides Lopez. Wonderful to see. Mia Krampel gets started, falls. Meanwhile, Sam Avazu. Oh, okay. Top for Mia Nonaka first. Sam Avazu top ball to number three. And Meshti Schalk flashed ball to number four. All go. We'll try to get you replays. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of tops here trying to keep you updated. Meshti Schalk finishes round, second position behind Yannick Floe. And uh, yes, Sam obviously a provisional fifth, but still has the last ball to climb. Instinct. So she's got fingers in, but it's just, it's the worst hold on the wall. It's actually not even a hold. No. It's just plastic. No, no, no. She falls in slow motion, gesturing as she goes. Let's see Sam Avazu. So left hand, right foot up, cruising through that final sequence. And Medjdi as well, a flash for him. Let's see how he brought his right foot up. If he did even. Yeah, look at that. Or did he? Yes. I was actually saying that already when Nimrod Marcus was doing it. I was like, I wonder if someone puts the knee up. My favorite. And there it is. Club. Yeah, you got it. I got it. She had so up towards the pinches. Let's see if she's got something in the tank. We've seen everyone else go backwards as the time has gone on this boulder. Nicely done. Getting the highest zone. We know that that's actually the highest we got on this boulder so far, so it's very important. She had a think here. Yeah, see, that's, I think bringing the left up like that is better. 
think it allows you to be in a better body position, but it makes the stand-up move harder. Oh, no, the right foot slips. Big moment Slow for Annie, close. 38 seconds yeah. to go. And I think Mia emotional there as she put her head in her arm. Annie stands up, 12 seconds. We've seen Laura do it. Can Annie repeat this? I don't think so. The time is gone for her. It's all over for Annie on that boulder. And yeah, her emotions bubble over as well. Yeah, but I think that's not uh, especially what the athletes are thinking right now. I mean, maybe uh, if you win semis and then you can think about that and kind of hope. Yes, hope, and exactly. hope about it. You know? You're praying for rain at that yeah, point, Yeah, I know, I know. But um, right now, while climbing this round, they definitely will not think about that. Like, they're fully focused on what they do right now. So here goes Brooke. She'll launch again. She came close before, and yes, that is good enough for Brooke. Big smile on her face. Around, they were filtering in, but uh, yeah, it's packed here at the moment. Nice slow mo from that move. Good footwork for Brooke on her turn. That classic smile on her face as she gets it done. Little cheer. Already puts her up in ninth position. Still two bowls to go. Comfortable position to be in. Out to the left, holds the pinch, crimps right on the edge of the volume. She goes over. Hannes, I said he was good. Look at this. Still has to get his right foot up or the knee or whatever he wants to. Foot in, easy job. That's nicely done. And it's a sigh of relief as he gets that one done. That's helped to score. He's currently in sixth, so he'll bump up after that. Adam kicking loose wildly there. Going with the heel and now going back with the hands and everything. Drops the heel down now. Gets oh, and another, another, right another high heel, yes. Oh, that's such an Adam move. Like the twist of the leg. Yes. Can he get the last move done? We haven't seen anyone done getting it done before. He's going to go for that crimp. He's creeping towards it. Oh, no! That was fingertips. Not sure. He's got the energy. He's only got a minute 10. He'd want to rest at least 30 seconds. And I'm not sure 30 seconds is enough time to do the boulder. Ultimate composure needed for this athlete. Out the thumb. Creeps the right hand over. Into the side ball on the top of the volume. 14 seconds. I don't think that's enough time, you know. Nine seconds, she is going to get timed out. She might as well carry on climbing to the very last second. The beeps are going to go, though, to indicate the end. She is done now. I think she was unaware of the time, actually. Usually the athletes are right up there. She's disagreeing, so I wonder what happened there. Coaches will, of course, appeal these things, and the athletes can bring it to the judges' attention as well. This was Dohyun Lee who launched up to the top and got a quick match. I'm just shaking my head here. I'm too impressed. A lot of action here already. Behind everyone here. Mejdi goes up. Sets himself. Mia Crample talks and rests. Mejdi is in at the moment. Sam. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Mejdi's already done. Getting my French athletes confused it. Yes, that's it. What can happen? Sam goes. Left foot on the crib into the final hold, brings the right easily up. Easily Good way to finish. Done. Yeah, that looked like an easy. For the men, is the top score. But a higher scoring round for the men right now. Um, All changed. Compared yes, to the women, though. yeah, it changed for sure. Quick up from... Into the low zone, going for the next blocked hold. Gets it. I think that's the um, how Don Yun Lee did that as well, but really hard to get out of this position again now. Wow, actually reaching up with that high heel. That was impressive. Well, he's a move away. Can anyone get this boulder done? He's the last athlete who could do it. Up with the left. No, like Adam did, just tickled it with the fingers. <laughs> Exhausted after this trip. Not so many people got that done. Miho got here before. Can she get it done now? Eyes oh, up that last hold. Springs over to the right. Yes, she can. Nicely done. Mia Crample goes again. And we know with this boulder, if you get on with 30 seconds to go, it's not really enough time. So this could be her last attempt. Mia standing up, eyeing the big red shiny volume on the right. Into the nubbin, hits it well, but no, balances backwards. And 
Chen Sok wildly swinging, holds the barn door, gets those foot set, eyes the last hold. Oh, close. Amir is going to get timed out and come. Struggling a little bit there with the start of holder number four. Up goes Adam into the elevator door move, holds it. We know how doable this boulder is, it's an important one. He's doing this insane heel. And again, it's such an Adam move. Oh, this is just, it's like watching his outdoors masterclass of Adam Ondra get out of jail free. And he's taking his time figuring this out. He's got to commit to a method. You want someone to get again with the heel, right? I love him too, yeah. I don't think it's possible. And the drop knee looks like a long way. I think he's got to go for the jump. Patient. See, Arupa Jilalor stood up easy. It's fascinating to me. How did she get? She, did she, oh, she got the left foot up. And just with the thump, yeah. Huh. But what was she holding on to? It's body, it must be body position. Yeah. That. He obviously will tie it to himself, that's why it is. Ali kicks that foot around, twists the body, gets set with the right foot. Up towards the palm and drives that left foot onto the crimp before making the final reach up. Trying to get his right foot. Oh, and he uses the knee and now the foot. Nicely done. Both in action, knee and foot. More down the order. Now fifth position for him, finishing the round. So Adam, with hands crossed, goes up again. Floats into that double catch sequence. This is going to be his last try, I think. I'm amazed he hasn't tried the jump. Brooke to yeah, on the last move now. Brooks in, kicks the foot back. Brilliant in the background from her. That was impressive. English once again. This was what Brooke did. The spring, the big barn door, saved with the left kick back onto the wall. And, really excited uh, about this, yeah. Pretty happy. Alberto, nice call. Nicely done from Alberto. This is his flash attempt. No, he did one attempt, oh, sorry, it's his second attempt. Palm down, got it done. So, just 24.9 nice after that. Really quick. Much better for him, a more comfortable. Slowly moving on the slab here. She gets a right toe in, adjusts it a few times, stands up, creeps the hands through. Oh. So Miho looks more established now. Eyes up the second half of this boulder as she chalks up the wall. That's what we mean by a slab. You can take your hands off. Now gets it done. Yeah, Alex is in, as is Miho Nanaka on the high zone. Static stretch up from Alex. Brings up the right foot. This must be it for Alex. It is. I feel like also the atmosphere from the crowd there from the team screaming even more now. I feel like just the pressure and the tension is just crazy here. It is. Miho trying to find a thumb. There's nothing. She's got to put the weight on that left foot. You're not going to be able to crimp that. She needs to find the foot position. Yeah, like when uh, you know, Lua was doing it before, it finally looked like she was actually holding on to something. Just look at the body, though. It's way more to the right. Pushing, just fingertips engaged on that 25. Bumps the palm, and no, a foot bobble sends him down. Now, his joint second. Let's see this heel. Just suddenly unlocked, and you can see that light appear across her face as she figures it out. A bit frustrated at this. Yeah, I mean, he already got so close. 
So for Kurtz is frustrating. He can't get to the same place anymore. And he also knows that the clock is ticking down. Yeah. Well, I don't think he will have enough time. He's got to try again. Ten seconds, yeah. He's going to get timed out here. Lands down on the hold, catches it, but that is it for Alberto, and that is it for our competition. So we will get the confirmation of the results. It's just a bit. Well, let's have a look at these results, shall we? Top eight will move forward later on. We're not there yet. Brooke Rabatou, Gilles Lohr, Miho Nanaka, Erin McNeese, Jenya Kazbakova, Cheon So, Zilia Abazu, Camilla Maroney make up our top. You see Adorfo easily in touch, though. Joint scores down at the bottom, as is Ayala Karem, who's had a fantastic round of 48.4. Although the difference between 10th and 1st is quite obvious in points. Big scores from Brook and Gilu. Yes, so in the end, the scores got higher. Also in this bordering round, we were a bit scared about that. Laura Raugera down 44. And from here on, these athletes are really going to have to work hard. Mia Krampel in the 30s. Mano Healy down at the bottom with 23.1. And Vita Lucan after that. So, yes, everyone from about 11 down is going to have to pull out a magic round in lead to stand a chance of getting into that top eight. All to play for, but tough stuff. And Futaba Ita as well, not the round she needed to beat, well, not only get in the top eight, but beat her teammate, which she needs to do. It'll be very hard for her, yeah, to catch up on lead there. Well, let's see the men. Sam Avazu leads the way, 79.3, the highest score. Yannick Flowey and Alberto Hines Lopez just after that. Equal scores from the German and Spanish athlete. Mechdi Schalk, Hannes van Dyson, Dohan Lee, Alex Magos, Paul Zempf to make up our top eight. Nimrod Marcus. What a round he had in the 59s. Adam Andra, so-so on the 50s. Needs a bit of work in lead for him, but still in touch with that top eight. Hamish MacArthur and everyone else with a little bit of work to do as we drop into the 30s from U5 Pan onwards. Yannick Nigel down at the bottom, 23.8. Good from him. Squeaking into this semi-final after a good performance in quali. Well, we will see you later on for the lead competition. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Hannah. We'll see you later. Thank you. See you soon.